first time in Packers history they've ever fired a head coach midseason. How did you find out, and uh, what was your initial reaction? Well, I, I found out probably the same way as you. Um, I mean, I, one, of my, one of my buddies called me and told me that he saw it on the ticker, so it, it kind of caught us all by surprise. Um, you know, it's, it's something that you usually see happen after the end, the end of the season, especially this late in the season. We, we congregated a little bit between one another, just, you know, seeing who who heard about it and, you know, just not really knowing how to feel about it. But having a, a coach who obviously is my longest tenured head coach that I've had in, in any sport took a, a little bit of a toll on me just, just mentally knowing that that's the guy who was partly responsible for me being in Green Bay and contributing to my success. So. Um, I love Mike and wish him all the best. Uh, Mark Murphy told us today that you know he just uh, kind of just wasn't working. His system just wasn't working. Are you guys able to to find out what maybe how he wasn't getting through to you, or is there any light that you can shed on that? I mean, it's tough because you know it's tough to either blame a, a, a player or a coach, um, but it, it, it's a it's a collective effort. You know, obviously we didn't get it done the way we wanted this year, but. Um, it's not due to Mike McCarthy, and it's not due to Aaron Rodgers or Devontae Adams or Randall Cobb. It's everybody together, and um, you know that's the way we're going to be able to turn this thing around is having that same mindset. You just signed a new contract. Aaron signed a new contract. You guys are going to be the duo now for an extended time here. For the next head coach that's coming in, what would you like from that person that can showcase your skill set? Really, I want a guy who's going to come in and, and, and allow playmakers and, and guys who were, are paid to do so to come in and, and really just uh, – kind of let loose you know there's, there's nothing better than having a coach who can just turn his guys loose and trust that they'll go out there Mike was a great guy but um, you know that's just kind of what I envision in a, in a great head coach a guy who will kind of be able to know when to assert himself and when to kind of back off and let the players do their thing.